everyone I am back and I'm finally gonna be able to get those six babies dressed thank goodness the weather has gotten a little bit cooler the fires are getting contained they're not all done but it's better and where I live the skies are a little bit bluer all of that crazy smoky air and ash and all that stuff we haven't seen it today. It, it smells good, everything feels hopeful. So let's get some babies dressed. If you've watched me dress babies for photo shoots before, you will know that I'm just going over everything, make sure everything's good to go before we take pictures. I'm making sure that their limbs aren't sticky because you know that when you use Mod Podge on those flanges, they can get sticky with any humidity or moisture sometimes just with temperature changes and time. And they're easy enough to just pop free. She already has her diaper on. Is Zuri awake? She has really cute feet. A, I'm gonna put a little white onesie on her. I wonder if all moms put onesies on under their kids' clothes when they're babies. I did. I, they probably didn't need it. But it felt like when you were putting them in clothes clothes, like little dresses and outfits and stuff, that everything was scratchy and rough on their skin and you just wanted something soft. And also if you got a leaky diaper, it leaked on the onesie and you could change the onesie easily and save the outfit. I don't know if that's just me, but that's kind of how I felt about it. I'm going to put her in this little corduroy dress. I remember when I bought these, I think I bought three of them at Carter's. And this is my last one. It's a pretty simple, basic dress in a pretty pink, almost coral color. But this corduroy is scratchy. Not that... Um, a reborn doll is going to feel all that scratchy, but, you know, I think when things look this real, you, you can't, I don't know, some part of your brain just goes into natural mama mode. These little itty bitty buttons. And she has little bloomers. I'm just going to put them on her while she's upside down. Keep it easy on myself. Her hair is a hot mess, so I am going to have to give her a good brush out. I love bloomers. I just love them in general. And the cute thing is, is if you take off the dress, the bloomers and the onesie look cute too. And I have a little pair of pajamas for her to send her home in, but for pictures, I think this dress is gonna look cute. These cute little socks. And they're just kind of um, a one-size-fits-all socks. So they're just really baggy. It reminds me in the 80s when we used to buy those baggy white socks and wear them with our Reeboks. And we'll get her hair done. This is just a little bit of my hair conditioner. And if you get a baby from me, you'll get a small bottle of that. I used to give teeny weeny little bottles and now I give bigger bottles just because people go through it so fast. And this is a tiny bit of gel. I'm putting a little more than I normally would just because she has some long hair. Usually I trim hair down to the length I like it, but lately I've been leaving it just a little longer so that if the person who gets the doll wants to do something different, they have a little more freedom and they can trim and, and do what they want. To do. Let me give her eyelashes a trim. No matter how many times you comb them, there will always be a couple of stray guys. There we go. And I think she looks pretty cute. <laughs> She's sweetness. Let's get her a passy. I think this one matches better. spent a whole day making passes the other day. It's so relaxing. I turned on a movie, 
my son was doing his homework and I just cranked out. I think I made like 40 passy holders. But I think what I'm going to do is um, photograph her in the dress because I think it'll make a great photograph. And then I will go ahead and put her sleeper on in her newborn hat. And I think she'll look a little bit more comfortable in that. But I think she's ready to go. So I have Pip here. He is so itty bitty. He's got quite a lot of hair. He might need a little bit of a haircut there. Let me test him all out. Make sure his little legs wiggle. And the reason why I'm going to photograph him in the whites is because he um, has a belly plate and I want to show that off. And actually, I didn't originally make the belly plate for him. I made it for another baby, but it was too small for that baby. Once I got the baby assembled, I went, whoa, that's way too small. And so I thought, oh, let it fit Pip because that would be perfect. And sure enough, it fit perfectly, and I am so happy about that. I got a little preemie diaper here for him. I am running low on diapers. I've been trying not to buy them during the whole COVID thing because for a while there was a bit of a diaper shortage. I don't think there was really a shortage. I think people just panicked and bought a lot thinking they didn't know when they were gonna be able to get them again and it caused a shortage for a bit. I think that whole business is over, but for a time I did not want to contribute to that. So I didn't buy any, and so I might need to go out and buy more. Let's see. So there you go, you kind of get an idea. When I do photography, I can place things and pose things the right way, but it's gonna be so cute and it's the perfect size. And I never lace a baby in. Those things are bulky. It's not, not meant for cuddling. Let me get his little hair. His hair is a almost auburn brown. It's really pretty and super soft. And he has little beigey socks. And I'm not gonna put any, I'm not gonna set his hair because I'm gonna do his photos with, with this cute little knit bear hat. I so wish I could find another one like it. It's adorable. Look at that baby. He's so cute. <laughs> so I think the person who's waiting to see what he looks like is probably watching. And um, let me pull off his socks so she can get a better look at his feet. With And that little hat is a prop, so it's gonna stay with me, but I'll send a cute hat with him. And he has this little brown gown that's going in his box and these little socks and his passy holder. I think we're good to go. He looks great. He's just a little tiny thing. And we got his belly plate if you want to take a closer look. Not everybody is familiar with how that works. This is called a body plate or a belly plate or a chest plate. Um, sometimes they have genitalia on them, depending. Um, but they're just made to be a photo prop and add some realism. And they do look really real. They're really pretty. And they do sometimes have holes in them so you can lace the baby in. This one does not. I don't lace them in any way. There he is. Next baby is Joseph. Joseph is going to be a girl in this story. He's such a cute sculpt. This is a sculpt I said before that I accidentally ended up with six of them. 
and I thought, how am I ever going to paint six Josephs? That's just ridiculous. Yeah, I think I'm down to like two of them now. He's usually adopted pretty fast. Just a cute baby. His hands are sweet. His face is sweet. He translates well, boy or girl. Fun to paint. Just adorable. Make sure. I love the way these legs work. Look at that. Look at those feet. I wish they would have had a couple more of these dresses. I would have bought all the ones they had. Just very basic, cotton. little snaps and cotton and bedhead and babies okay there you go oh my goodness look at you you look so cute you know sometimes companies that I don't particularly care for that much once in a while they'll come up with something that's so adorable Like, I would love to get a job working for, is it Gerber? That was just a little bit too much. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can still make, it doesn't cost more to make clothes in a cute color or with a cute design. Sometimes I just wonder what that's about. This is vintage seam binding. It's just soft and it makes a really sweet hair ribbon. It's extra pretty when it gets wrinkly too. Let me shorten those tails up a bit. And I do have a headband for her, but I kind of want this instead. I think I've said before, my kids were mostly in onesies or naked. I had naked babies. None of them liked to be dressed or diapered. They were happiest just roaming around like nature intended them to be. There she is. Isn't she sweetness? I think she's sweetness. I love that face. This camera angle is so strange. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many arias I've made and I never get tired of painting this baby ever. And she always turns out cute. Um, when I saw her for the first time, I thought, my Lord, that is the funniest looking sculpt. And I got her because I wanted to paint her and she's not all the way put together, so we're gonna do that right now. And I thought, oh, she'd be fun. She'd make a cute little elf or little fairy baby or something. And I painted her and I fell madly in love with her. This baby is on my short list of favorite skulls. Now this baby is going to be dressed in this pretty little preemie um, sleeper with a little kitty and a little mouse holding hands. It is so cute. I love the colors. However, I am going to do photos and here's her little passy holder. Isn't it cute? Let's do it this way. If you follow me, then you've probably seen some of the baby clothes I made last year for Rose because Rose didn't happen. I just kind of filled up these boxes full of all the things that I made and I sold them and people seem to appreciate them. But the reason why, and here is a little, it's like a pretty cherry colored tie dye. And it may not go with her complexion. We'll see if it doesn't, I'll go grab a white real quick. 